Hello everybody, it is your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with another video. If you guys watch my Vlogmas vlog, if you didn't check it out, I will link it up here in the cards. Go check out my Vlogmas, see what I got for Christmas. But in that video, I basically said that was supposed to be my last video of 2021. But yeah, <laughs> I lied. Here I am with another one. I decided I wanted to do my favorite purchases of the year. So I narrowed it down to my seven favorite purchases. I'm gonna discuss it here on the channel. Just, you know, real quickly show you guys, show you guys how I wore it, how I styled it, all of that. Definitely stay tuned and you already know. Let's get in to So first things first, my first purchase is this Louis Vuitton bracelet that I got. This is one of my birthday gifts to myself. It is the monogram, as you guys can see, the monogram print with this gold in the front. Love this bracelet. It pulls up like this and then, you know, you just put it around your hand super cute i love it it was literally the first purchase that i made in july my birthday is in july so it was the first purchase i made in july my first like birthday purchase and i have worn it so much then my second purchase is this prada cutlery set <laughs> another purchase that i purchased in july another like birthday purchase i wanted this cutlery set for months before july and i was like you know what I'm gonna bite the bullet I'm just gonna get it and I ended up texting my essay she's like yeah there's one left I will hold it for you she held it for me and yeah comes in this case right here and then you lift it up open it like so of course you see the thing it says Prada right there and then we have the knife we have the knife it says Prada at the bottom right there it's silver stainless steel as you guys can see and then we have the fork <laughs> and we have the spoon I love this I know a lot of people might see this even my brothers when I first got it they were like free what <laughs> a lot of people might see this and be like this is stupid but I don't care I love it all right so the next thing that I purchased was a nice little cool fedora I love this fedora. I have worn it so much. It's definitely the most expensive hat that I've ever purchased. I think this hat came up to like $305 with tax. It was like two something and with tax it came up to like 300 and something. I love this butterscotch color. Oh, so cute with the little feather right here. I also have the black feather, which I'm still sad about because when I went to Jamaica, I took this fedora with me and I had the feather in a bag, left the bag on my bed. And I think when the when the maids came in to clean, they picked up the bag and threw it away and my feather was gone. So I'm, I'm still like, damn, that feather was super cute. It was black and it had like gold around it. I'm definitely going to go back to the store. I got it from this hat store in Soho called City Hats. I want to go back in there and get another one. I haven't yet, but love this hat. I love the butterscotch with the lavender feather. So freaking cute. Oh, and I wore it so much. I definitely got my cost per wear for sure. It has gone with so many looks, so many outfits, and I'm so happy with this purchase. I definitely want to go back to City Hats and get some more hats because they have some really really dope shit i'm a like i said i'm gonna link their instagram down below the next purchase is a clothing item that i recently got that i haven't worn yet but if you guys checked out my ralph lauren sample sale video if you did it i will link it up here but i went to the ralph lauren sample sale and everything was 20 dollars, and that was amazing for me especially when you find pieces like this that is a purple label piece which this piece probably would have been a calm $2,500 or maybe even a little bit more or a little bit less 
but definitely over 2000 and I got it for $20, y'all. This purple with the print with this suede collar, suede brown collar. A beautiful, beautiful piece. Oh my God, this print is everything luxurious. With the shoulder pads, I love shoulder pads. <laughs> so happy cannot wait to wear this it definitely will be in a nice little outfit coming soon the buttons are fire like i couldn't leave the sample set without this like this had to go home with me love this piece love 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 this piece definitely will you'll be follow me on instagram at bria van Kooten. <laughs> stay tuned for the looks y'all last three pieces that i'm gonna talk about are some shoes i got three pairs of shoes that I purchased this year <laughs> that I am in love with. I am a shoe girl, I love shoes. So these three babies right here, I am so happy with. So the first shoe is a pair of SJPs. If you don't know, Sarah Jessica Parker has her own shoe line. It's called SJP by Sarah Jessica Parker. And I have been wanting these shoes since I saw her wear them at the Met Gala a couple years ago. And this past year, it came back in stock and um, your girl got them. There are these babies right here. Oh, let me take out the little tissue. There are these babies right here. I freaking love these. The one magenta, the one golden yellow, bruh. I can't get enough. I love these so much. I just love that it's two different color shoes. <laughs> like, who you know? SJ ate these. Like, she was in her bag with these. And I remember in one episode of Sex in the City, she wore a pair of shoes. It was a pair of Louboutins that were two different colors. So I definitely know that she was inspired by that to create her own but I stand. I love these so much. I can't wait to style these and wear them some more. But definitely, I would say this is my favorite shoe purchase of the year, honestly. My next shoe, I haven't worn these yet. I bought them back in October. I did an unboxing for them. I'm going to link it up here in the cards. Definitely go check it out. But they are the Versace Evitas. These are beautiful. I can't wait to wear 2022, baby. These will be worn into the ground. Not into the ground yet, no, because we don't want to mess them up. But they will be worn because I have been wanting these since I saw the Versace Fall Winter 2021 show. And the fact that I have them in my possession is so iconic right now like i manifested these into my life <laughs> and they're here oh my god like the detailing the color i love this yellow love the detailing around the ankle love the chunky platform it's giving very much brats doll and i stand i stand satin now versace they did that they ate this up the last item in this what my favorite purchases my favorite luxury purchases of 2021 this is the last item last shoe i talked about this in my birthday haul i'll link it up here if you didn't check it out my birthday haul they are some boots that i bought also during my birthday extravaganza because i would just shop Dang, for my birthday, y'all. I go crazy in July. <laughs> but there are these Margella, Mason Margella. We love a Margella box. I love a sleek white box with the little detailing in the front. Love this. This boot will definitely be getting way more wear in 2022. I wore them twice this year, but I got them in July. I wore them for Fashion Week in September, and then I wore them in November so not bad because like i said i got them in july and we will be wearing them more but they are these knee high tabby black boots with the t i love the tabby i'm a stan got the black black blocked heel <laughs> very monochromatic love this boot 
No, I love these so much. Oh my God. I've been wanting another pair of tabbies. If you don't know, I have the white tabbies. And then I was like, I want another tabby boot, but I want it to be a high boot. So, got these babies, walked into the Margiela store, and this is what happened because I have no control. <laughs> got these. And then my next tabby shoe I want, I do want one more. Definitely stay tuned for my 2022 wish list. I'm not going to tell you guys what they are. But stay tuned for the 2022 wish list coming in 2022. It's coming in because I'm taking a break. If you don't know, I'm taking a week off next week. And then we'll be back with more videos the following week. So stay tuned for my 2022 wish list coming in uh, two weeks. I'll tell you guys what the other tabby shoe that I want. But I love tabbies. They're super comfortable. This is my favorite purchases. Seven of my favorite purchases of 2021 i had to narrow it down because we will be here forever because like i said i was shopping okay but favorite purchases of the year i am done shopping for 2021 obviously this is the last day so duh but i'm done shopping i'm taking a shopping break no shop no shop january 2022 obviously just like essentials if i need like essential things obviously food because i gotta eat but no like shoes clothes bags accessories none of that we're not buying anything i'm in my save mode my save bag i have so many shoes so many clothes like i really don't need to buy anything i have things with tags on them like yeah i don't need to purchase anything <laughs> it's sad out here okay so that's a great problem to have though but yeah no i don't need to buy anything else but yeah guys this is my final video of 2021 i hope you guys enjoy definitely comment down below let me know what your favorite item comment down below uh, like i said i'm gonna link these down below if it's still available of course follow me on my social medias and subscribe to the channel like the video of course happy new year happy new year i wish you guys a prosperous and amazing 2022 and i hope you guys are ready for the next chapter in the journey you guys are watching you guys are following like it's only up from here all right it's only up from here definitely also check out i did a I got featured in an article. I did an interview for Shadow LA uh, online magazine. And I will link that down below. Definitely read it. Check it out. You know, support your girl. And I will see you guys in 2022. See you guys. See you guys then. <laughs> Have an amazing weekend. Be safe out there. Peace. Love.